Let's start off with the Duke's Mayo Bowl. North Carolina facing off against South Carolina. And there are not a lot of things that point to the side of South Carolina. Jason Brown, the quarterback uh, that led them you know, to bowl eligibility late in the season, he is transferring, so it doesn't appear that he is going to be playing in this game. Definitely not a good thing. Definitely. Uh, no idea who's going to suit up. I would imagine Zeb Nolan, but there was talk that he could be out for the rest of the season, so who knows? Who knows what South Carolina is going to be doing at the quarterback position? Luke Doty, I believe, was ruled out for the rest of the season. So, uh, who knows? How, how is South Carolina going to be able to score? On the other side, Sam Howell, the you know preseason Heisman favorite quarterback for North Carolina, who didn't exactly have an ideal year, he is going to be playing, along with all those running backs that had such a potent, potent rushing attack for the North Carolina Tar Heels. The line right now is North Carolina minus 9.5. And, and I think I'm going to take this anywhere under 10. I, I like North Carolina by two touchdowns here. I think they're fired up for this game. It's an 11.30 a.m. Eastern time game on ESPN. This just certainly seems like a spot where North Carolina is going to be fired up. South Carolina, while they did have an incredibly successful season, I I don't know what they're going to be able to do in this game to give them a shot to win. So I would expect that North Carolina finds a way to score uh, quite a few points in this one, especially in Sam Howell's potentially final game. With the Tar Heels, Mac Brown has a way of getting his boys up for bowl games. The uh, bowl gifts on this, by the way, we do this for every one of the bowl games. A Hypervolt Go Massager. I don't know about giving the college kids uh, massagers, but either way, a shopping experience at Belk's South Park flagship store. Now, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a total there, but... Uh, you know, hey, you, you get to go shopping at Belk's, and Belk's has got all kind of stuff. It's a fun department store. You got shoes, and you got clothes, and you got all kind of trinkets and toys and whatever else. So, yeah, so in Charlotte, they are getting to go shopping, and I guess that's good, I suppose. So that's not the worst bowl gifts that I have seen, but either way, I do like North Carolina to be able to cover the 9.5 there. Uh, again, this is just pick them if you want my official plays head over to the BetUS College Football Show, and we will go further in depth there. But this is the way that I'm leaning here, is North Carolina minus 9.5. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.